Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to uh, use simple classes in Bootstrap to create labels, to create badges, wells, as well as alerts. So as usual, we start with the blank page in your course materials, blank.html, and I'm going to save this now as alerts. Okay, so let's start with the default text that you see over here. So let's start with wells. Wells are great to highlight certain parts of your content. Uh, it's not very outstanding compared to alerts, but it's useful anyway to uh, just make a little bit of difference from the rest of the content just to make the highlighted area a bit more noticeable. All right, let's create div class class equals to well let's close that and close that div over here okay so this is a well now let me change this to six just to make it easier for you to see in this video okay so well and there are a few uh, two more classes that you can add to the well to control the sizing of the well which is well lg for well large and well sm for well small so essentially it looks identical okay all the sm or lg does is control the amount of padding inside the well now let's try creating an alert so alerts are of course um, much much more obvious to your visitors or to your users and they're typically used to uh, signal that a certain action has been successful you could also use it for let's say announcements special offers coupons promos or whatever you're doing anything that you want to stand out or to make it stand out so go to the div and now apply div class alert okay and the alert is just the basic styling for all kinds of alerts but now you need to select the type of alert so let's type in alert okay and you can see some of the options here alert danger alert info alert link alert success alert warning so let's um, select alert info okay so you here you have an alert an info typically used for providing additional information and now for success all right alert success is if a user has done an action and it's been successfully complete uh, completed we use a lot of alerts i use a lot of alerts when designing user application uh, interfaces or uis okay now let's try one more which is alert danger and this is of course for uh, highlighting some action or something on your site that requires extra attention or requires the user to be careful um, or to be a bit more cautious now when you are linking any text in the alert okay let me link this word the word slate over here so a href equals to okay so by default now you see that um, the link here is blue okay but now that could be a problem here if you have used info so when you use alert info you see that the link is barely noticeable to your users so there's a way to overcome that in bootstrap is for the text or for links inside an alert you may want to assign the class to the href uh, tag class alert dash dash link okay and what this does is that it bolds the linked text it's also a different color from the rest of the text over here and this is consistent if you change it to success 
okay you can see that the color matches the rest of the uh, success div element and the text as well and if we change it to danger okay all right so now let's um, talk about badges and labels let's start with a label a label is typically used uh, to for example display numbers and a label labels and badges are typically used for different uh, functions badges tend to be used for numbers for example if you want to, to display the number of unread messages in an application and they are they are typically used more in uh, web applications that use bootstrap so let me give you an example of a badge so i'm going to just put a number here 10 okay and to apply labels or badges you need to use the span element span class equals to badge okay and close this close span tag okay so it looks nice for a number there are no additional classes for you to style badge in bootstrap uh, tree so if you type in here badge again there's just simply no additional classes for you to use so the use case of badges is pretty limited however uh, you can use labels so labels can be used for all kinds of things so labels work with the span tag as well well actually you can assign uh, the label class to any element you want but the most common is to use span span class equals to label close that and I'm going to close span tag okay so now you see the label CSS applied but we have only applied the basic label let me just put that in line easier for you to see okay we have only applied the basic label class there is no color in this label and label come with uh, four different colors which is consistent throughout uh, bootstrap which is label danger default info primary and success let's use label default so you can see here the difference between a badge and a label labels have small rounded corners badges have more rounded corners in fact for a badge if you were to put a single digit number in here it's almost almost a full complete circle so labels you can uh, you can apply label dash success to it okay you can change this to info you can change it to danger okay you can uh, you can apply this to for example if you have a, a table that displays the available tickets that you are selling okay so you may want to highlight the sold out tickets with label danger well let me give you an example from one of uh, the user interfaces that i designed with bootstrap 3 to show you how we can apply all the elements that I taught you here wells alerts labels and badges so this is uh, the user interface for Nishify uh, it's just a mock-up however and nothing really actually works and I typically uh, do a complete fully designed user interface before we start working on the software for our company and this helps everyone to understand what is required and avoid any wasted effort all right so you see here a badge that i use for the word trial okay and also here 
for the uh, visits this could this could be a sorry this is a label and this is a label as well this could be a badge but there are just not many styling options for badges so i prefer to use a label all right now let's go to other aspects of the user interface okay again i use a label here and this is draft so if i want to um, indicate that a page has been deleted i could put label dash danger to it and if i want to indicate a page that has been published i could perhaps add label dash success and drafts will be label dash default and that's what uh, it means by giving some contextual meaning to the labels now let's click on all right so here again i use labels let's go back home manage so the interesting thing to note here is that uh, although what i'm showing you here looks like an actual application but nothing really happens when you click on the buttons okay um, well some stuff happens but buttons like delete page or whatever none, none of that actually works and it's amazing the amount of effort I've put in uh, to actually design the complete user interface with Bootstrap 3. But trust me, it really, really helps. So if you're trying to develop a software, you're trying to get a freelancer to do something for you, a web-based application, use your skills that you learn in Bootstrap to design something like this until it looks almost 100% like the final or the end product that you want them to develop. If you do that, I guarantee that you will spend less money uh, because you don't need to constantly uh, correct the work of the developer. And you also, you basically, you can show the developer, this is what I want, this is the end product, and now you have to make it work. All right, so where was I? So examples of, okay, labels again, we use labels here. This is a well. And there are no alerts here for me to show you, but alerts typically can be... Alright, so this is actually an alert, but it's been embedded into this panel. Anyway, I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you, uh, where I've shown you how to use simple elements in Bootstrap, like alerts, wells, badges, and labels.